Alright guys, in today's video we're going to recap and look at the statistics from week 2 of Big Brother Canada 10. Let's get into it. Alright, so the first thing that we learn about in week 2 is a new alliance called the Savage 7. I'm pretty sure that's what they do. The Savage 7 is made up of Herman, Josh, Moose, Kyle, Steven, Tanisha, and Summer. On an unrelated note, uh, I'm pretty sure the Honey Bunches is no longer an alliance. Um, the majority of the people that were in the Honey Bunches are now in the Savage Seven, and they really haven't talked at all as a group. So I'm just gonna go out on a limb here and say that the uh, Honey Bunches is no longer an alliance. This brings us to the HOH competition where the house guests had to balance a ball on a surfboard balance board. And when the ball fell off, they were out of the competition. Martin ended up being victorious in this HOH competition. Now, after the usual back and forth between HOH and the house guests, Martin ended up deciding on nominating Jay and JC Lynn for eviction this week. He was debating on putting up Stephanie, but because he made a deal with her during the HOH competition, he was not going to put her up. For the veto competition, we had Jay, Jacelyn, Helena, Betty, and Josh all participating in this comp. The odds did not look good for Jacelyn because Betty, Helena, Josh, and as well as Jay wanted to take Jay off the block. So. Things were not looking good for JC Lynn. However, she overcame the odds and won the cake stacking and balancing uh, competition to win the veto. All right, so because JC Lynn won the veto, she's obviously gonna take herself off the block, which means Martin needs to make a replacement nominee. That his replacement nominee is Betty. The reason why, in his words, for him putting Betty on the block is because she was going to be a potential vote to keep Jay, which meant he was going to put her on the block to ruffle as little feathers as possible, as well as securing uh, Jay's way out the door. The next thing that we found out in the show is before the eviction, we found out that Tanisha, Summer, Helena, and Betty have an all-girls alliance. And finally, ending off this recap, we have Jay getting evicted 11 to 2. Now let's get into the statistics. To start off the statistics, we only have Herman and Martin with a HOH win, and we only have JC Lynn and Jessica with a veto win. For comps played, Helena has the most with 5. And Martin and Herman are both are tied for the least amount of comps played with two. Everybody else that is still in the house has either three or four comps played. For win percentages, Martin and Herman both have a 50% win percentage, while Moose has a 33% win percentage, and JC Lynn, Jessica, and Josh all have a 25% win percentage. Everyone else in the house has a 0% win percentage. For times on the block, any house guest that has been on the block so far has only been on the block once. And uh, Jay was evicted on day 13. And finally, the veto has a 100% chance of being used. That's it for this video. Remember, work hard, stay humble. We'll see you in the next one. See ya.